In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the typewriter effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro once more. So let's get right into it. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rooker Films, and you might be familiar with this channel because of my typewriter video. Over a year ago, I made a video explaining the typewriter effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And at the point of recording this video, that video is one of my most popular videos with over 200,000 views. So first of all, thank you for the support on that video. I really do appreciate it. But there were loads of unanswered questions. So I made a part two to answer all of those questions. But the one question that I didn't answer and the one that I seem to have been asked so many times recently is how do I do the typewriter effect with a horizontal line underneath the characters rather than a vertical line? Well, let me show you. So when you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you want to begin by making a new legacy title. So we'll go File, New, Legacy Title. We'll press OK on this. You want to press the T icon just up here. Select anywhere on the black video. And you just want to type out a sentence, a word or phrase. And then of course you can go ahead and you can change the font size, the font scale, the weight, the color. This is completely up to you. So I'm going to make this a veneer. Going to make this bold. We'll increase the size a touch. We'll increase the kerning a touch. Center this up and then I'm going to make this black. We'll press OK on this and then exit the legacy title window. Now we'll drag title on to video layer two. We'll go into the new item button on the bottom left of Premiere. Go up to black video, press OK and drag black video onto video layer one. Now, with video layer one selected, that is the black video, we're going to go into effects, search for tint, drop tint onto video layer one, and inside of the tint settings, we're going to map the black to white. So this is going to turn our black background to a white background. So as you can see, we've got our typewriter text right there. Now we need to go ahead and we need to animate this. So we'll go into effects, search for crop, and we'll drop crop onto the title. Now, in order to begin with this animation, we first want to pull the crop all the way up to 100% on the right. So we'll go down to the right, we'll pull zero all the way up to 100%. And in fact, before we get to 100%, we can see this blue line here. We don't need to go all the way to 100% because 100% is gonna take it all the way to the edge of the frame. Because the text starts roughly one quarter in, we can pull this up to around 72% and that should do the trick. Of course though, if your text is wider, then you might have to increase the crop on this text layer in order to get rid of that text. Now we'll make a brand new keyframe on right on the stopwatch icon. So we'll press the stopwatch icon, move to the right. Let's go one second to the right. And then we'll just go ahead and we'll pull the crop on the right down to a smaller number until we can see the whole word. So if we play this back from the very beginning, typewriter. Now that's the basic typewriter effect. And many people will tell you that this is how you do the typewriter effect, but we need to take it one step further with that horizontal blinking line. We'll go back into our project tab and we'll drag the black video onto video layer three. Now, at the moment, that black video is 1920 by 1080 pixels, which is the entire frame. So we need to go ahead and change the scale of this in order for this to be that tiny blinking line. So we're going to deselect the uniform scale button, press that. We'll change the scale height to one. We'll change the scale width to two. And let's see how that looks. Now I'm just gonna pull this down by using the position, pull this to the very beginning. And at the moment, this is not quite wide enough. We want this to be roughly the same length as one character. So if I zoom all the way into T, you can see that this line is not quite as wide as the top of the T. So we'll change the width to three. And there you go, that's about right. So now what you want to do, you want to go ahead and you want to animate the position of this horizontal line to follow the crop. So we're gonna to go to the very first character and when that first disappears, so that's 0.2 seconds in, we're going to create a brand new keyframe on position. We'll go towards the end of that movement. So when the R appears, we'll pull the position of that over to the right. And if we play this back, 
we've got this horizontal line following the characters. So now we've got the text created, we've got the typewriter animation on the text, and we've got the blinking line underneath the title. But at the moment, it's not blinking. It's just a solid black line. So we need to go ahead and we need to animate the opacity. So we'll pull the cursor head back to the very beginning. Selecting the black video will pull the opacity down to 0%. Now, make sure a new keyframe was generated. If one was generated, you'll see this diamond icon at the very beginning. Make sure that sits at the very beginning. Go to the right by two frames, 100%. And again, we're just going to copy that. Move over two frames, paste. Move over four frames, paste. Four frames again. And we'll just keep repeating this process over and over again. And if we play that back, and if we play that back, then we've got this blinking cursor effect happening. At the moment though, I feel like that line is a little bit too thick. So I'm just gonna reduce the height from one to 0.4. That looks a lot nicer. And then of course we need to extend the duration of the blinking on that line until the end of the animation. So we're just gonna copy all of those frames. We'll go to that last keyframe in that sequence, move to the right two keyframes and paste. Now again, we'll go to the end of those, two keyframes to the right and paste. And now if we zoom back out and we play this back from the very beginning, there you go. We've got this blinking typewriter effect happening with a horizontal line rather than a vertical line. So there you go. I really hope this video helps you answer that question. And if you have any more questions regarding the typewriter effect or any other effects that you see on this channel or another channel, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And I promise to make a video answering your questions. So thank you for watching. And if you're subscribed, then I will see you on the next video. See you there.